So far, you know how to create a Bootstrap sub theme by using the CDN starter kit, which is great for quickly getting started. But if you pull Bootstrap in via a CDN, it's hard to modify things. Let's take, for example, if you want to change the color of these links. How would you do it if you're pulling in Bootstrap through a CDN? Well, you could modify the buttons and the links all using CSS, but you will end up with a lot of code just to change the color. Now, if you were to compile Bootstrap locally, you could easily change this color by changing a variable, recompiling SAS, and you're done. So in the next two videos, you'll learn how to create another sub theme which uses Bootstrap SAS and how to compile SAS locally. So let's do that now. But first, let's create a new sub theme. So let's go back into the Bootstrap theme and back into Starter Kits. But this time, let's copy the SAS folder. So I'll just copy that and place it into my custom directory and I'll call it bootstrap underscore SAS and make sure you copy this name because what we need to do now is replace theme name with bootstrap underscore SAS. So let me quickly do that now. And make sure you change starter kit to .info. If you don't, the theme won't appear on the appearance page. And you'll be scratching your head why the theme's not appearing. And let's change it over here. Let's go into config, install, and change this theme name. Then under schema, change this. And if we go into the settings.yaml, make sure there's no mention of theme name and go into schema and make sure you change these settings property to bootstrap underscore SAS. And we can add a label here, but it is just a comment. So it's not really required, but let's change this one as well. Bootstrap SAS. And let's go into the dot info and give it a proper name. And down here in libraries, make sure you change this as well. So now if we go back to our site and then go to appearance and scroll all the way down, you can see our bootstrap SAS sub theme, which is great. If we click on install and set as default, and then let's uninstall the CDN sub theme. And then if we go to the home page, what do you reckon we'll see? We see a broken site. And the reason for that is because we are not loading the bootstrap library. We still need to download a copy of it and compile it locally.